From the outside, they may look like regular 18-year-olds. But give them a microphone and a guitar, and these identical twins transform into the pop duo Take Two. Shelby Cashman has been following them around as they tour Vermont, and she's still dancing tonight. Hey, Shelby. Hey, guys. Yes, I am. May or may not have already memorized all the words to their album, but Adrian and Julian Woodrow have everything down from writing their own songs to even styling their hair in the opposite directions. They sing, play the guitar, and ukulele, and they're spreading a message to follow your dreams. Okay, four, you in four? Yeah. Okay, ready? Bam. Ordinary without your identical twin. You have like a, a built-in best friend. And bandmate. Uh, the styles really complement each other, I think, that you can only get with brotherly, uh, brotherly dynamic. A dynamic 18-year-olds, Adrian and Julian Woodrow. Music's really always been a big part of our lives. Have used to create the pop duo Take Two. who you may recognize from the first U.S. season of The X Factor and season two of The Voice. We want to do a tour in every major city in the United States, so that would probably help if we won X Factor. Then known as Blackberry Jam, the twins made it all the way to the boot camp round of The X Factor after auditioning in front of music giants like Simon Cowell and Paula Abdul. I'm absolutely agreeing with him. And the, and the crowd just, it, they went nuts. They were like, ah! And it was like you were, like, if, if it was like truly was like a wall of sound. Like it was like, like you, it was, it was absolutely, it was ridiculous. That crowd of about 4,000 is about four times the size of Take Two's hometown, Sunderland, Vermont. And here's where it all began, Sunderland Elementary School. But even from a young age, the twins knew that they were meant for something that expanded far beyond the town line. Those two really stood out. Marianne Carrico was their teacher in fifth and sixth grade. I mean, they, they did have a natural presence and, and a natural talent for, you know, acting, singing, uh, and they were just very comfortable with that. Comfortable honing their self-taught musical skills during lunchtime performances. We did like a, fun, a duo act. Yeah. And, and our entire goal was just to make like the school laugh at us. Like yeah. he would dance to the song called Eddie Cooch Catch Came and Toast Toast Naga Sam and Tam Wacky Brown. And, <laughs> and, uh, and I would sing it and he would dance it and it would just, and the, the whole crowd would erupt into laughter. And we, ever yeah. since then, we just, we've been hooked on the performing aspect. And at the dinner table. We'd sit at the, at the dinner table and we'd be like, okay, we need a dinner table performance, you know, and then phew, right here, they'd break into something. Yeah. As the twins take the next steps towards their dream, boom, 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 boom. mom Heather Chertia has found herself in a new role too, momager. Yeah, you forgot. Sometimes we pick them up from school, um, they'll head off to studio, they'll be in recording session until 8 o'clock at night, they'll come home, do a little bit of homework to bed the next day, you know, maybe they have a concert in the morning, and I mean, it's a big schedule, it's a big time commitment. Hey, yeah, you could be a swimsuit model. A schedule made up of shows at small venues around the region to promote Take Two's first album of original songs, End of the Night. At concerts, they make them, they're like, woo! You know, go, take two. So, uh, who here has heard of the X Factor? And the performers are also spreading a message to follow your dreams. Sunday morning, rich body. Like at this afternoon jam session at Bristol Elementary. On the day I swear I'm not doing anything. Over the past couple of months, Take Two has done free concerts at Vermont schools throughout the week. They tell me that they're not just about to space. You really think I could be replaced now? I go from outer space. Followed by a weekend concert in the same part of the state. Oh, baby. 
They say it's helping them build a loyal and passionate fan base. So what do you think of Take Two? They it was really awesome. I love them. <laughs> You guys are super pumped that you just got their autographs? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do with it? Keep it in my room now and don't let go of it. The twins say they'll never let go of their dreams. And even though it didn't work out for them on reality TV, Adrian and Julian say playing in smaller settings means more. Not only to them, but their fans. Thank you. I've heard so many times these kids are like, oh my God, I've never been I never picked up an instrument before. I never sang in front of my friends. I'm like, you've inspired me to be a singer. And it just, that, that like fuels this, this whole tour thing. It's just like so awesome to just be playing for people that like, like your music that it's like, it's just like that, that's worth it. In that moment to those kids, you're their number, you're, you're, the, you're the pop star of the, like of the year. The road to worldwide fame may be long, but they say the performing practice they're getting now helps them improve. We're gonna take uh, one to two gap years and just tour and gig around and just try to become famous musicians and just, <laughs> that's the goal. Yeah. You know? Until then, Take Two is focused on graduating from Burr and Burton Academy. But we go to prom with me. Awaiting the day when having to sing for a prom date is a distant memory. Shelby Cashman, Channel 3 News, in Sunderland. So obviously I said I had to get myself a copy of their debut album. And if you want to find out where you can see Take Two Live, we have a link on our info center and at the bottom of the story on our website, WCAX.com. Darren. Shelby, thanks so much, and we wish them lots of luck in their mm -hmm. uh, careers. That's right.